Today it is an Alfa Romeo Quadra Flogiendio day. I love myself anything that isn't a 3 Series that is a 3 Series that isn't. Now I do have something very quickly to talk about and that is making sure that you are safe and well with all this corona virus oh happening and no. If you didn't know, getting toilet paper is the best way to save yourself from this horrible thing. And thus I have come up with a solution. The latest drop on the website is this. Oh yes, yours for 69, 69 toilet paper signed by me. Let's get popping then. I got some money to spend, at least on Need for Speed Heat. Don't, don't buy this stuff. If you buy it, it's your own fault because I will genuinely send it to you. I genuinely will, and it'll cost that much. <laughs> right, let's get it popping. So I love a lot of things about the Julia. I think it looks beautiful. I love that there's an M3 competitor that isn't an M3. I do like a 3 Series M3, whatever. But I also like the fact that there are other options, and it is a very good one at that. Right, jumping to the garage. Let's get this popping. This was that is a DLC cartoon need for speed payback. And I still can't believe I made that toilet paper joke. That was disgusting. I am a horrendous oh, human you being. This uh, You've been holding out on me? I'm selling toilet paper, mate. That's what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> Let's scroll through and have a look at some of the mobs. So the speed hunters part for me, the lower the better. That's what we're going to get doing. We've also got a brand new wide body kit. Obviously not an actual real manufacturer's body kit, which is good because of the fact that this car doesn't really generally have any mod stuffs available for it, at least at the time. That's when it came out. I'm going to go for the Alchemist because it's a little bit more subtle. It's a little bit smoother. It fits the body much better. That is just on insane. Actually, I'm going to go for the Speed Hunters for the front. We're going for a Bolt-On on the front. What is that? Oh, there is a Bolt-On on the back. We're going for the Bolt-On kit. I don't think I actually used this kit the first time we actually built this car on the other game. But I'm very excited to actually be able to throw on a lot of Underglow stuff and the like. I'm definitely going to play with the NOS color stuff as well, which is something that was added in the previous update, which I think is really cool. Anyway, rear bumpers, even more aggressive. Do we have any big wings? Do we have any of the new wings, actually? No. Where are the... Oh, doesn't matter. If there is a big wang, you must enable. We've got better stuff to do. Let's go for the bulge in the hood. The bulge in the hood. Now we'll go for the speed hunters. Intake in the hood. Very cool. And then we've got some roof customization, haven't we? Yes, we have. We can make it carbon fiber. Get you on the ground. Yes, indeed. Now, the color of this. In my in my head, the best color is always going to be the red that comes a standard with this car. I'll take that. That's gorgeous. Speed hunters on the front as well. Oh, look at that beautiful Italian livery as well, though. Very nice. We're going to go for the blue just because it's just a bit different. It's a bit shouty. Oh, of course, we need to change the front grille as well. Ho, 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 ho. I forgot about those. Now, we all know that Rainbow Nitrous is a lie. It is a. It doesn't work. We're going to go for the blue backfire. I don't remember how actually that looks. Uh, we're going to go for bad weather, apparently. <laughs> Why not? And the air suspension, of course, we're going to throw it on. I don't usually, I don't really put the air suspension on, but for this car, we're going to do it. We're going to be a bit special for this car. Now, we're jumping into the performance. This is where I want to do some major changes. Now, the engine itself, it sounds okay. It sounds okay, but it's a V6. And for me to really say that this is the end or be all of all vehicles of this category, it's going to have to have a V8. Now that! <laughs> oh, hang on a second. We've probably got some, some some Ferrari V8s coming in here, don't we? Oh, but that sounds so good. So, so good. So far, it's this V8. Yeah, we've got a very refined McLaren-ish V8 there. I'm honestly not sure which one it is, but it sounds supercar-y. So do we go for a supercar-y V8 or do we go for... We're going to go for the grunt. Bit of a predicament here. Eight speed gives us a higher top speed, lower acceleration. There's no good balance. I guess it's a good balance would be this one right here. So we're going for the seven speed. And here we have it. It looks blooming glorious. This is normally a, a red. I would normally go for a red. Honestly, a nice red color change would have been very cool as well. Let's get it, baby. <laughs> it sounds so meaty. So freaking meaty. I feel like this is going to be thrown around super easy as well. I've not driven this. Why have I not driven this so far? This is one of my absolute favorite cars that they've released in the last decade. It's definitely up there, super high. 
and I want to see how it's going to drive. It's got a very meaty, American-sounding V8 in it. Maybe it's a Mercedes V8. I should probably have checked. But either way, it's a grunty V8. A way, the way the, a, a non-refined V8 is supposed to sound. And I love it. I'm interested to know how I did with the gearing. Because obviously we chose for the 7-speed opposed to the 8-speed. That NOS, I still feel like, lasts forever. Fly along. Hold the 200s like a smooth G. Like a big un. Do you want to make this even better? I've just come up with... Holy! The poo, -poo is gushing out. <laughs> the poo, poo is gushing. Right, Dio. I do want to show you very quickly. If we go over to this, this makes the stats ridiculous. So we can get three tens on this car super easy, I think. But what I do want to do is instead make it all-wheel drive. You know, it. This that would make it perfect. If you hadn't been able to tell, I'm quite a bit obsessed with making cars like this for the i have been for a little while but <laughs> i don't know it's just something about it that it feels it feels naughty it feels like i should be doing it but i am and we got somewhere to test it straight away oh yeah oh i almost landed on the damn bridge sometimes you need to just do a classic car build i feel like it's been a few days since i've actually done one i have got a, a bunch of cars to still go through on this game obviously we have not I guess we've got about like halfway through the car list, which still amazes me, the fact that we haven't actually touched most of the cars. I've still got so many classic muscles that I want to build, but I want to know. Classic muscles, does that interest you? Are you are you engaged by the thought of me possibly building some classic muscles? If so, let me know, because then I'm going to build them. But right now, we're making our own muscle. Italian muscle, baby! I just love, love, love the V8 noise. I regret selling... My RCF. I'm going to say it. I regret it. I do love the Supra and I would love to have both. So maybe one day, maybe I can find my RCF again. I, nah, I need to stop buying cars. <laughs> it's an addiction. I, so I need to, I need therapy. It's an obsession. It's an addiction. I need to stop. But I don't want to. So does that make it wrong? Good question. That's a question to leave on your minds. But let's get it. Let's smash all these. GTR what? You are a waste of space. All-wheel drive? Yes, so am I. V8? I didn't think so. Man, this is what you need in your life. I don't think I've actually... Have I done this race before? If I have done it, I do not remember doing it for a long while. Get this skid right. Give me the boost. Oh, it's a bit... It's a bit much. I'm going to play with some of this steering sensitivity a little bit. Reduce the, the downforce a little bit. Oh, yeah. Let's get it. Look out, Mr. All-Wheel Drive, buddy. Ultimate All-Wheel Drive Lamborghini. I love you. We got one left. It's an NSX. <laughs> I'm going to eat you. Eat you up like you don't exist. You're going to be gone in two seconds. But what did I say? Listen to me. I, I warned you in advance that you are going to be destroyed. Why are there trees flying? Holy crap, that's eighth place! <laughs> whoa, 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 Mr. Hybrid. We are only all about that naturally aspirational, though, here. Naturally aspirated is the only way, he says, as he has three turbo cars. I'm happy with this. Very happy. I do very much want to do the best M3 replacement. I think we need to do that as, as as a video. We need we need some boys. We need some some girls. We need to make it a stream. I think we need to start doing some streams. Speaking of streams, by the way, if you're watching this video still all the way through, I am streaming. I should be streaming by the time this goes up. I should still be streaming because if not, I've disappointed myself, I've disappointed you. I need to enforce that I have to do this. <laughs> I've been saying I'm going to stream for ages. <laughs> it definitely has that wide turning angle of the all-wheel drive cars on this. When we made those all-wheel drive drift cars, for example, you remember they were slow and wide, and this is definitely one of them across the line. Highly recommend. Build it. Better than M3. Better than M3. M3, M3 in the bin. Or is it the M4? It's the M3. Yes, I know they're both the same car, but what I'm saying is that if you want four doors, right now, Alfa Romeo, it is the best. I don't know why, but my Italian accent becomes a Borat accent. 
I don't know why. All right, thanks so much for joining us for a cheeky build today. I've got something fun coming tomorrow. Spicy, changed it up, a little bit different. So look out for that. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you're not. See you in the next speedy video. Till next time. Peace.